Low Tears was um, the only song I finished writing in 2010. There's a story behind why it was born. 2010 was a pretty tough year for me emotionally. And uh, literally I spent the entire year crying. I'm not kidding. I, I literally spent the entire year crying. It wasn't so much um, about what or who triggered it and, and why. It, it was something I had to go through. I had to let go of a lot of things that year. Hello Tears happened sometime May or June 2010. When after a few months of literally crying every single day, there was this entire week that I didn't cry at all. Like there was a love. I, I, I couldn't help but think that I was probably healed or cured or that I was finally okay until I woke up one morning and I started crying again and I was pretty annoyed. Uh, so to cope, I wrote Hello Tears. Of course, I was crying while I was writing it. It was a lot of fun. It did cross my mind that the, the direction for Hello Tears since it talks about tears and sadness, yada, would be the usual sad, melancholic piano riffs, uh, sad guitar riffs. I figured that it would be redundant and, and common, so I thought maybe it would be nice if we'd make it a little jumpy and happy and, and really hopeful instead of sad. Almost like it's a celebration. The concept, after all, is uh, to celebrate or embrace tears. So we, we started, uh, the idea was, we started with a, the idea of a very simple drum line. Simple yet, it's, it's jumpy. And one of the things that we really we made certain is to avoid um, the usual distorted guitar sounds. Although immediately one would say that it is a, a sad song, but I'm, 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 I'm going to disagree with that. For our culture, probably, and, and most people probably would say that that crying is, is weak, that it's a sign of weakness. And at the same time, most people would like to believe that to suppress or to repress your feelings is, is a sign of strength. And I think that's, that's, that's pretty messed up. The song pretty much celebrates tears as a part of life, as a part of the healing process. We have to mourn and we have to grieve for the occasional deaths that occur in our lives. The same way that we rejoice on our occasional victories and milestones. So it's, 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 it's part of life. We spent a huge, huge, huge amount of time uh, carefully sampling and sequencing and, and, and morphing all kinds of sounds that will complement with the rhythm parts of the song and will complement my singing. We're, we're doing the guitar tracks for the song Hello Tears. Mm. We we're, already, we're already done with the bass tracks and the atmospheric tracks, the textured tracks. So right now we're doing the guitar tracks. I have my little part in this thing. Jad is pretty proud of, of this uh, crazy pre-chorus towards the end of the song. We call it crazy, crazy pre-chorus. When we started building the songs, I, I told Jad that we have to infuse offbeat parts so there would be 
a break from the monotony and I, I have this soft spot in offbeat parts because I don't know, I just, it's, it just seems nice and, and he came up with something that could pretty much mess up my mental metronome so but it, it's a little challenging to sing but I really really like it I really really like it, it the, the crazy pre-chorus crazy part? which crazy part? dang 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 Da 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 We're trying on a, a weird crazy part, crazy arrangement. It's actually a very challenging part for me in the vocal part, so but yes, Sorry. because yes, but yeah, let's take a listen. Okay, let's do it! from someone or from somewhere that everything is complementary. You can't possibly know what happiness feels like if, if, if you haven't been sad at some point and, and, and vice versa. There was this book I read that mentioned about uh, a certain teaching, I think it was Jewish, um, and it said that there are levels to to the grieving or the mourning process and there are just three um, it's a, there are only three levels psychology would tell you there's probably five or seven I like this better it's pretty simple and it makes a lot of, of sense it just it, it says that the first stage in, in, in grieving is tears second is silence third is song well there you go I don't know what the count is, but the, the count is weird, so when I sing it's like... It's been years and we're still trying to fly the same thing. What, what can we... Ah, see? <laughs>